Well, this is weird. So as you guys can see, I am standing up. I got my new standing desk. It's been good so far, but it's only been like a day. I set it up last night. I'm halfway through today's stuff. I edited a video this morning while standing up. I just recorded a video while standing up. It's good, okay? It feels good. I can move around a lot more. It's a lot like, it's a lot freer, okay? I feel like I can express myself a little bit more. I can do some weird things in my arms and hands that were kind of harder to do before, I suppose. I can, I can do this, huh? Huh? Why would I want to do that? I, I wouldn't want to do that. Or would I? I mean, I just did, so I guess that kind of invalidates my point. Point is, guys, it's cool so far, and I think it's gonna make my videos just a tiny bit better, okay? It, uh, it feels good. It feels good to stand up. That's all I'm saying. So just a heads up, guys, I got some stuff coming up that you guys might be interested in if you happen to be in the right geographical location, which statistically, you're probably not. But uh, this weekend, if you live in Newfoundland, you can see me at Newfoundland Gaming Expo. Put some links down below for anything I talk about here. That is this weekend, mid-August. I am going to Germany for Gamescon. Gamescom or Gamescon? One of the two. I'm going to Germany. I'm excited about that. I've never went to Germany before, and I've always wanted to go. Always is in like since the last like since like three years ago or something when I took German in uh, in university. I think it's cool. I think it's a cool place. I think German is a cool language. I'm looking forward to meeting some German fans. I'm also gonna go to Amsterdam for a day just to check it out because I've heard lots of great things about Amsterdam. I'm also going to PAX West in September. Yeah, they changed the name from PAX West to PAX Prime. Not really sure why. I guess they felt that having an East and a South was kind of weird if the other one is called Prime. So I'm going to PAX West and I'm also going to um, Eurogamer Expo. That one is in September as well. And I am like 90 something percent sure. I'm not completely sure, but I should be at PAX Australia. The only reservation I have is having to sit on a plane for like 24 hours. Seriously, it takes a long time to get from Canada all the way down under. Okay, so yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit tough, but I really wanna go to Australia. It's another place I really wanna go. I gotta see some kangaroos, man! I mean, I could go to the zoo and see some kangaroos, but it's more important to see kangaroos in their natural habitat. I need to see that, uh, what's his name? Kangaroo Jack? Is that his name? Is a movie about him? That's a stupid movie. So I think that's it for the uh, events that I'm going to this year, guys. I just want to make sure you all know that I'm going to them because I get people who keep asking me, Matt, are you going to this event? Are you going to that event? Where are you going to be? Those are the places I'm going to be. I don't think I plan on being anywhere else. I will also be at PAX South next year. And all the other PAX events, I go to East, South, and West, okay? So if you go to any of those, I will be there. And I love meeting you guys. It's super fun when I get to meet you guys. You're all super nice and... Uh, you know, it's nice to see smiles on people's face when they see me because it's so absurd, man. It's so absurd. It'll always be absurd to me, okay? I'm a YouTuber and, um, you know, I've been like decently popular, perhaps, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, for like a couple years maybe. Last year I hit like quarter of a million subscribers. Now I'm at 1.2 million. So like I'm still not used to the whole people looking up to me, people thinking that I'm something special. I'm not guys. I've already said that like a million times in videos that I am nothing special. I'm just a guy making videos. I used to suck, now I suck less. That's kind of like my tagline. Matt Shea, I used to suck, now I suck less. Speaking of sucking, guys, that's a really weird way to transition, but I'm gonna do it. Speaking of me sucking, I'm gonna read some meme comments today. I thought that would be fun. And to make it extra special, I've gotten Ashley, my fiance, since people still don't, haven't like figured that out, even though I like mentioned it in the video when we did the, um, you know, the cheek retractor challenge, people were like, Matt, who's this person? Who is this person right here? Well, if you listened, I said in the video, if I was not engaged to you, I would ask you to marry me. Therefore, I am engaged to her, we are getting married, okay? She's my fiance, and I got her to get the mean comments for me. I think there's like 20 something. So I'm gonna read through some mean comments. It's the first time I'm gonna be seeing most of them. So you might get a few more genuine reactions from me today. Let's do it. Honestly, guys, I just gotta say this again. It feels great to be standing up. It makes me feel more natural. I, I can talk, like when I sit down, I'm trying not to move my chair around because it's kind of noisy, but now listen to this. You don't hear a damn thing. All right, so here are the mean comments, guys. This is mean comment number one. Matt, why you turned into a privert? Hmm, why would I turn into a privert, guys? I don't know, man, it's just that, like ever since I was a young boy, I've just really wanted to be a privert. And now that I'm, a, I'm an adult, I can do what I want. So just deal with it, okay? I'm a privert now. Faggot. 
I don't think I really need to say anything about this one, guys. This one's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, I'm a faggot. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna disagree, okay? If you look up faggot in the dictionary, I guarantee you there will be a picture of me. What do you mean there's no pictures in the dictionary? And now guys, we are gonna look up faggot in the Urban Dictionary. Now I know this one doesn't have pictures either, but it's gonna give us a, I think, a better definition of faggot. I don't know if the, the real dictionary will have it. Faggot, made up by a West Coast G, brought to the East Coast to describe a faggot and an idiot. Oh my God, that makes perfect sense. Maybe this entire time, um, uh, Jackie Perkins, sweet name by the way, Jackie Perkins, kind of rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Jackie Perkins, she meant faggot because she, me she meant that I was a faggot and an idiot at the same time. Well, you know what, Jackie Perkins? You win this one. Over half of your vids I just stopped watching because your commentary is pretty bad. Honestly though, guys, the fact that this guy watches half my vids, it's pretty heartwarming, man. Even though I suck, this guy just can't stop watching. Thanks, buddy. To me, you seem not that exiting. Okay. Yeah, I can be more exiting if you want. I can do that. Just for you. You little bitch. Asshole. Matt needs to get more sleep because his bags look like someone pushed a purple marker under his eyes. What are you doing looking at my bags, man? That's disgusting. What the fuck is with the new profile picture? It's ugly as fuck. That's the whole point, okay? It's more representative of what I actually look like. Jeez. Canada is a stupid, tiny, weak, smelly, dead country. Canada is the second largest country in the entire world. Check your facts. Also eat my ass. You're a Jacksepticeye ripoff. Top of the morning to you ladies, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome back- Matt, you're bad at this game. It's so ezzy for me. Maybe you should check your seppling before you post a comment on my videos, okay? Matt Shea is gay. Oh. Now that you called me a homosexual, my life is ruined. No. Oh no. I'm just kidding, because it's not an insult to call someone a homosexual. Suck my ass, Matt. I don't really think this one is a mean comment, guys, honestly. I think he just wants to get his ass sucked. Somebody suck this guy's ass, please. You can't count. Haha, -ha, jackass. Someone one is back again. <laughs> Fuck you, I hate your videos, you're so stupid, like what the fuck, I know some of the stupid and he's- What? I know some of the stupid and he's nice, weirder than you, yeah, actually, it's not weird, you're a jerk- <laughs> Middle finger! I have never been this wrecked by someone in my life. Holy shit. You are so bad, it's painful to watch. Jesus. Thank you for your brutal honesty. I would say a lot of people would probably agree with you. I'm gonna eat your cats if you don't upload Subnautica soon. Threatened by someone with an Undertale profile picture, guys. Wow, I'm gonna have a bad time. Stop being a complaining bitch. If you don't like it, you will lose 40% of your subs. Stop complaining about what, games? I'm not allowed to complain about video games and I'm gonna lose 40% of my subs? I'm pretty sure only like 10% of my subs even watch my videos in the first place, so don't think that's gonna happen. You say Happy Wheels is repeative, yet you would play Amazing Frog a million times and do the same thing over and over in a game that no one else plays because it is boring. Repetitive. And there's not much to do unless it has to do spending hours looking for random crap for a small prize is in a hat. Happy Wheels, everyone likes it. Everyone likes it and plays it, and it is not that repetitive and a lot better than Amazing Frog or all the stupid games you play. You just have a bad choice in games. You're not funny, you suck at games, and you're not really committing to YouTube or speaking to your fans. You suck, and I don't know why anyone watches you. No. Look, Matt, I like your Happy Wheels videos, but when it comes to you constantly complaining about Happy Wheels, it gets super annoying and distracting. I couldn't even finish the video because your sour attitude killed my mood. Maybe it is a good thing that you are taking a break from YouTube. Oh, ho, 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 damn. Okay, I'm actually gonna get serious here for a minute, guys. When I make Happy Wheels videos and I ask for criticism, people say, Matt, you need to do videos where you're honest and don't try and enjoy something that you don't enjoy. And then you have people like Beauty Pop coming up into my comment section telling me that when I'm honest about shit, that I, that it's a good thing I'm taking a break from YouTube. Hey guys, today I'm playing this game because everyone else is playing it. Thanks for the money and views, bye. Wow, Canna22, you've really blown the lid off this whole YouTube thing. Guys, I gotta tell you something, and I and I, and I know you're gonna be shocked when you hear this, but uh, if you can't, if you can't listen to it, you can click out of the video right now, okay? Are they gone? YouTubers 
make videos for views. I'm sorry. Welcome to the internet where everybody does things for attention, including me. Get over it. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Honestly, I had a lot of fun making it. I'm really enjoying this whole getting up, moving around thing. Just remember that um, people are going to hate on you regardless of who you are and what you do. There's always going to be haters. Fuck the haters. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.